first things first, a very good morning to you and welcome back to the channel. You have just seen a load of concrete being poured, that was yesterday. We also had a go at setting the, uh, or starting setting the potatoes. So here's a video of that this morning, me driving past the field. Now then, we are planting the potatoes. Um, this machine's very temperamental. We borrowed this rigid from a neighbour. It's not temperamental, it's just the operator, I think. Um, it don't have its own depth control, the front ridges, so you're either diving in too much or you're not in enough. Um, that and the fact that I haven't found out the front linkage height control yet uh, very well. I like to operate it on a small barrel, but there's a certain way you can do it on the joystick or something, so people are uh, saying. But Uh, 
it's certainly an eye opener. There's a lot going on. Put it that way. Keep an eye on me, my belt that's there that's uh, going round and driving them pots there that put the nemothorin on for uh, eelworm. So if, if that sometimes I'm in too deep and that belt flicks off. Um, so basically, when this is folded up now because Dad was near me, uh, I unfold it and then I draw draw the beds out with it, and then the basil here makes these two rows. Um, yeah, and I'm on GPS, I'm on RTK. But we're setting. Normally, me and Dad, well, I power her, Dad draws the roads out all with a little 6640 by hand. Um, and then I help him on the lorry with the trays, the seed, and Mum's on the basilier. Totally different setup this year because we've got this tractor. But basically, where you can tell, I'm drawing a bed out now, but I'm missing a bed also, and then I'm marking the next one out. And then I'm just controlling the height on the green spool valve for the front linkage, uh, so it don't dive in too much. And then just tweaking it as tweaking it as I'm going along. There's a uh, So not sort of a job where you click one button and you sit there and leave it for a while. Yes, there was a bit of swearing at the start yesterday. Um, but we got there in the end. Now then we're back at the yard because uh, we got a grain lorry uh, turned up just at dinner time so that ain't too bad so dad's loading him loading him up now just to clear up loads just clear the rest of this up and uh, we've got another shed empty so uh, <laughs> we'll soon fill it Looks like we ain't gonna get planting for uh, a fortnight after today because, like I say, tomorrow's gonna rain and then the weather looks absolutely shocking. We've got another 22 23 acre to put in, so uh, yeah, I might have to hold fire on that before the weather breaks. Well, I thought there was uh, a f not a full load there, but we've got a little bit left look in the back of the shed, which is annoying. I thought the, well, the neighbour might have it, so that's all right, otherwise we're stuck with, what, three tonne in the back of the shed.
breakfast. <laughs> you wait. 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 Go get it, good boy. Morning. <laughs> it's horrible outside. <laughs> oh, we've got a load of concrete. Uh, uh, well, eight o'clock. Not ideal, because the last bit just comes out of the shed a little bit but at least we got that field of potatoes in <laughs> oh look at the puddles on the road 